So you want to give winter swing a try, but you really don't know what to put in those little jugs. I'm going to give you a run through of things I've had good success with in the past and a few things that I've heard others have done that I'm going to be trying this year. So I'm going to start off with the easier things because when you think of gardening, things that you're just wanting leaves for, those are the fastest, they need the least care, um, so they're the easiest things to start with. Then next level would be things that have the roots that you want, so radishes, beets, rutabaga, those are level two. Level three is fruits. That's your tomatoes, cucumbers, green beans, peas, anything that the seedy, fruity part is your desired outcome. So those are the ones that take more space, they take more watering, they usually need more sunshine. So leveled from easiest to more difficult, here's what I'm doing in my winter sowing this year. Um, and you'll see the different brands then of seeds that I'm using. The kale from Eden Brothers, and I do like the blue curled scotch. So I love those. My lettuce this year, I'm gonna do a butterhead and a romaine. So I'm gonna get those started early in my jugs so that I have them to go going right away. For herbs then, I'm going with my dill and my basil. My other herbs I already have is perennials growing in my garden, but you could start any herbs in your winter sowing buckets. All right, then for my roots, I'm doing radishes. I love radishes and earlier the better, and beets. They're super easy to transplant. Those are so great. All right, then bush, um, little little tiny yellow tomatoes. Um, oh, other tomatoes, I've got romas and many other varieties. Those are more Eden Brothers. The, le the less interesting packets are Eden Brothers. Most of my other ones are botanical interests. Um, hot pepper seeds, so peppers are a good one to start winter sowing, and of course cucumbers. Anything that you think to yourself, I would have to buy this as a seedling, um, or I would normally buy this as a seedling, like you know cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers. So this year I'm doing watermelon because I would buy that as a seedling. So I'm going to do some watermelon, and I would buy seedlings of marigolds. So. I'm gonna do marigold seeds. Um, and I expect them to grow because the method works all the time. And here's the other thing that I think about. This seed packet cost me $1.99. Even if it only half works, I will get more marigolds for $1.99 than I will if I buy them at the nursery. So things I have not done, um, would be things that they say they don't like to have their roots disturbed. So when I'm going through my seed packets, if you want to know what I'm thinking about as I'm doing these, I will look for, I got a tomato one because there's always say this. All right, when to sow outdoors and then when to start inside recommended. So many of these seeds will say recommended indoor start. That's my, I can winter sow that cue because that means these are easy to transplant. Some plants do not like their roots to be bothered once they start growing. Um, cucumbers are more on that end, um, but if you get a big chunk of soil when you transplant it and you water them right away, they usually pull out just fine. So I've never done zucchini as winter sowing, but some people do. So it's a way to get a head start on your seedlings um, and get them producing faster because one of the things you see on the back of the um, package is, if it's a good brand of seeds, it should tell you this, maturity, um, this one says 45 days from transplanting. So I'm not seeing any little tomatoes even for 45 days um, after transplanting. And if you're growing them inside, that's five to 10 days before they emerge. So you're not going to be seeing tomatoes until midsummer. So that's why people will start them ahead so that on Mother's Day, typically here in the Minnesota region, then we can get things in the ground. It's usually consistently warm enough. So the beauty of winter sowing again is God has made these seeds to know when to wake up 
to when to germinate so that they will grow. Isn't that amazing? So if you're not sure, ah, so like my nostrum, these are fantastic. I love these. I actually have many, many varieties and colors. They're one of my favorites to just put in all the corners. They're such a good companion plant. I'll go into that one more in another video. Stay tuned. Um, I'm not sure if these would winter so very well. I should try a tub of it and find out, right? And if nothing else, if you throw a few seeds in there, you might be out a dollar. But if it works, then you have all these seedlings and you have a head start. So again, I'm gonna start my green beans this year for the first time, and I might throw a few zucchini in there. Um, and that's just the annuals. Of course, if it's a perennial, like I did lupine and poppies, go for it. If it's a perennial, they will love winter sowing. And you can even start those earlier, like January, February. They won't mind the cold at all, unless they're a tropical plant, of course, and then they just generally won't grow in Minnesota anyway. But if they're like a Minnesota native, they will love winter sowing. And sometimes I can get perennials to grow winter sowing that I cannot get to grow if I plant them in the ground, even the recommended times normally. So winter sowing I have found to be more successful than starting seeds any other method. So give it a try and see what grows and we can grow in green wonder together. Thanks for joining me today.